Hey guys, we're gonna go for a quick little spin on the Suron. Go see how this new Action 5 camera works. Just do a little testing on it. Gotta open the garage door first, but yeah, first shots with the Action 5. Here we go. No good. Well. Definitely wishing I would have checked some tire pressure here. But she been sitting for a little while. And uh Yeah. She's a powerhouse. Yeah, she's definitely lower than I'd like her to be. Let's see, either we've knocked the gate down. So, huh. Oh, that sun is horrible. Horrible. Back on two wheels. Oh, that sun is bad. thing about this thing trying to remember what brake is which because the I don't know it just messes me up tip to this in here. it shouldn't but it does oh I was reaching for a shift lever right there. Everything on this thing is a big jump.
pretty fun though. But yeah, I don't want to ride it all the time. down. I think the brakes have gotten better on this thing over time. They still suck, but... Still no shift lever there. Oh, ho, ho. Stuffed it! So fast, not really. Getting a good workout in though. Like I said, <clears throat> this is the new camera DJI Osmo Action 5. Been a GoPro guy for a long time. Really wanted to keep being the GoPro guy, but I just couldn't do it anymore. 
So, sold my soul to China, I guess. Anyhow, everything I've seen out of these cameras have been pretty awesome. So we'll see. We'll see if the latest uh, version of this camera is as good as everyone thinks it's going to be. So <sighs> cheaper than the GoPro Hero 13, but it offers a lot. So yeah, here we go. First shots out of this thing. Decided to just kind of come over and put it on the sir on and all the settings are pretty much stock um, by that I mean I haven't gone in and changed a bunch of white balance or any of that stuff so still in auto for the most part shooting at 2.7 I think 24 frames per second is what I have it in right now but yeah we'll put in a couple more laps here and then head out I'm hungry dark looking for some breaks So funny, I come in there every time and I, my left foot is looking for a shift lever. My right foot is looking for a brake lever. So the Sauron I've had since 2020 or so. Sounds like 170 miles on it or something according to the display. I don't really ride it much, obviously. It's fun to come out here and rip around a little bit. I used to practice wheelies out in my front yard with it. Out in the street or whatnot. Uh, would I buy it again? Probably not. But since I've got it, I try to ride it. Make a video on it every once in a while. A little fur on vlog, so to speak. You can still get a good workout on this thing. Stock tires, stock suspension, stock everything. 
I wouldn't have bought it if I was going to put a bunch of money into it. You know, I don't want a $10,000 fur on. Because I could buy a better bike for that. I kind of like the idea that these, these things are fun for what they are. You know, I got this new for like four grand or something. Still a lot of money for this little thing. I did buy some bars and a different sprocket for it, but I haven't put them on yet, so. Twenty-eight percent, hundred and seventy-eight miles. Woo! Take a break. Head home. All right. I think we're gonna call it a day. Started out at seventy-four percent, I think. Like I said, we're down to twenty-eight. Got in a couple fun laps. Nothing too crazy. Things good for. I don't know, roughly an hour. It depends on how hard you're riding. This little track I was riding today was pretty wide open. I was just kind of throttles 10 the whole time. So, of course, you go through more battery much quicker that way. Just like if you were on a gas bike, you would burn through fuel faster with the throttle twisted all the way open than you would with it, uh, you know, at half throttle or whatnot. I'm kind of rambling right now. This is more of a test of this camera just to see what she's got in her and uh, good document trash Well, they tried keeping this place locked up at one point and uh, everybody could get a key had to sign up or whatnot and go get a key but you cannot keep the riffraff out so they ended up giving up on the key idea and yeah you can see it's unfortunate man i mean i understand that the dump prices suck but I mean, this could be a fun little area, you know, off-road or whatnot. I know there's some some homeless homeless people that have been living in here in the woods a little bit. I don't know if they still are or not. I don't typically try to go find them, so I don't know if you can hear any of this or not. This may. I'll just be thrown right out the door. This is a nice comfortable spot to sit down. And there's always people out here. It always looks like they're looking for rocks. I don't know. Somebody tell me what, that, what that's about. I don't get it. This seems weird to me. There are deeper holes than my suspension can handle. But she has a pretty puppy dog. But it appears to be a large weapon which I support. People in large weapons and pretty puppy dogs. Hmm. 
And yeah, let me know if this footage sucks or not. Like I said, I really haven't played with many settings on the camera yet. I know there's some like wind noise stuff on here that I probably should have turned on, but I haven't figured it out yet, I guess. Kind of a weird fucking hangout. Oh well. Here we go. 